फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो almost a decade ago when the US based NASA Aeronautics Space Administration that is NASA proposed a collaboration with scientists from Indian Space Research Organization now the idea was to build a powerful earth observation satellite both ISRO and NASA have multiple earth observation satellites orbiting the earth collecting huge amount of data a lot of these satellites even use the SAR technology which is the synthetic aperture radar this is basically a kind of a radar which sends microwave signals to the earth which bounces back to create a fine imagery but this time the idea went to a bigger level ISRO decided ISRO and NASA decided to build a dual frequency radar that is one which carries the L band and the S band now this L band radar was uh, worked on by NASA while the S band by Indian Space Research Organization now this dual frequency radar then was connected with a 9 meter boom connecting to an unfurlable large antenna which is about 12 meters in diameter now all these components were separately worked upon then integrated and brought together and then shipped to Sri Hari Kota the Satish Dhawan Space Center the primary space port for Indian Space Research Organization NISAR which is a NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar as i said has been in the making for almost a decade now we have heard a lot about it but why is NISAR so special what makes NISAR special is that it's going to cover earth every 12 days collecting huge amount of data now why is this crucial at a time when climate change the challenge of climate change is upon us NISA will collect that huge amount of data give very minute level details about how our earth's oceans and land is changing now the most important part it's going to study the precursor to major natural hazards like landslides land subsidence cyclones earthquakes as well and understand and help probably in developing early warning systems for all these natural disasters second it will help us estimate the biomass concentration especially the forest cover and how the forestation deforestation is leading to that loss in the forest cover secondly how these intensive rapid intensification of cyclones is taking place across several countries especially india it will also help us assess the crop cover in different uh, places across uh, the country as well as the melting glaciers the uh, sea levels which is now going which is changing across the countries so all this important data is coming from this nisa mission it's going to be placed in a sun synchronous orbit so that this satellite will observe the region every region of the earth at exactly the same precise time now as i said this is based on the sar technology so irrespective of the weather conditions irrespective of the cloud cover we'll have this important data coming from this important mission which has a mission life of about 5 years so that's what makes nisa very special this is one of the most powerful earth observation satellite to be launched by any space agency across the world and it's also the most expensive because this one is built with a cost of about 1.5 billion dollars uh some of which has been borne by nasa and some of which by uh, isro now isro is providing the launch facilities for this important mission so we are here at satish dhawan space center in sri hari kota talking about nisa which is the nasa isro synthetic aperture radar and as you can see behind me there are a lot of these students about 50 students who have come from chennai we'll talk to some of them so this is your first time witnessing a launch at isro yes ma'am this is our first time okay so what are you looking forward to what do you know about nasa So NASA is a very big space uh, research center. It is situated in United States. So we are very excited. And so some of these students are also studying various parts of uh, aviation, how it works, how how the rocket systems work, and this will give them a know-how into this. We are going to talk to their head, who actually brought these students here. So why have you brought these students? Why is this mission important? Yes, uh, here we have our uh, undergraduate and pro- postgraduate programs. They are studying about aeronautical, so how the aircraft will be fly. So what is meant by rocket? How it will be launched? What is the different types of rocket engine? used so last semester also the students are studied 
so what are the different parts of an rocket so if they are seeing the things visually they will get more idea about how it's going to be yes, so it's a everyone's a dream also so witnessing the launch so india isro and nasa put together a launching an event so it's one of the uh, precious things and also this uh, satellite is going to monitor all the day to day day activities of weather and everything right so we are really excited now there's a lot of excitement clearly a lot of excitement among these uh, students isro has been really firing up the ambitions of a lot of people lot of students who look up to isro and become space engineers and space rocket scientists in the coming future i would also like to ask them so isro has launched a lot of missions in the recent past we had chandrayaan we had going missions going to the moon have you been keeping track of these missions which which was the most exciting for you over the years uh actually the chandrayaan ma'am the the satellite have landed to the moon's uh, thing right so we have been watched that uh, very curi curiously and uh, more than uh, 21 days it was rounding right so that was exciting so th there is clear confidence because the, the indian space research organization has carried out successful launches to give you a sneak peeks this is the 102nd launch from sri harikota and out of all these launches about majority of them over 85 of them have been successful fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing.